Yes, there were much less migrants here at the U.S.-Mexico border at gate 36, probably dozens rather than the hundreds that we saw yesterday. However, tensions between Texas officials and migrants still remained high. Texas National Guardsmen and state troopers wearing helmets and bulletproof vests, warning migrants over loudspeakers that they will be arrested if they trespass or damage the razor wire. Guns drawn, people reporting that they were shooting non-lethal projectiles. These scenes coming after Governor Abbott deployed more National Guard troops to Gate 36 on Friday and installed more razor wire in response to the incidents a day earlier when over 500 migrants rushed the border past National Guard troops to turn themselves into Border Patrol. El Paso's district attorney confirming one migrant was detained after assaulting a National Guardsman. But we cannot tolerate people thinking that they can assault our National Guardsmen, can assault our Border Patrol, can assault our troopers and get away with it. You, you can't do that. You can't. U.S. Border Patrol agents were not involved in the incidents. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar saying the Texas National Guard lacked the expertise and resources to handle these situations. An example of what happens when you create an ad hoc um, uh, immigration law enforcement entity that is untrained, undermanned, and under-resourced to do the job that is being done today by the U.S. Border Patrol. Escobar adding that Border Patrol had no issue taking those same group of migrants into custody. Texas Governor Greg Abbott took to social media to say that they're reinforcing and redoubling their efforts, adding that they have instructed Texas DPS to arrest any illegal immigrant involved in criminal trespassing or the destruction of property. Reporting from the U.S.-Mexico border, Jesus Baltazar, KTSM 9 News.